the Brown Advisory Plate is next. Two mile five foot on Grade Three handicap. At the top we've got Bijou Zinga or oh, David Robertson, Police Run Leon Van Rensburg, Stitch in Time, Graham Clutterbuck, New Year's Day, Martin Needham, Need a Tonic, Craig Beckwith, Die Another Day, Padre Hogan, Drum Largan, Martin Needham, Madame May Lynn, Padre Hogan, Presk Flay, David Robertson, Titch Jazz, Alex Cherry, Buffalo Commercial, Vinnie Gerard, October Bay, for Graham Clutterbuck, and Roller Six for Craig Beckwith. So 13 of them then, all trying to roll a six and win this, and away they go. Exact same course and distance as the right here earlier. Only for the horses who are just below that grade, the grade three. And handicappers, and class horses at the top as they get to the first. Oh, there's something gone already. October Bay's gone, so October Bay just didn't take off at all there. All around Quizabuck. He's still got Stitch in time, who's up there disputing the leaders. They get to the second. And the rest of the field got over that one. Okay, so. Bijou Zinga and Buffalo Commercial disputing the lead. We're on Madame May Lynn as they get to the third. And we'll safely have the third one. With Stitching Time fourth. Then Drum Largan and Titch Jazz. Police Run is next. And Die Another Day while I'm a track and coming wider still now. New Year's Day. The Grey Presk Flay is just the back marker, which means that David Robertson. His bookend in the field. Into the fourth they go. Which they all got over okay. The Bijou Zinger and Stitching Time disputing it from Buffalo Commercial third. And a mail in fourth as they take the fifth. New Year's Day is now the back marker and seems to be struggling. Oh, there's something amiss with that one. It's already dropped off four or five lengths from the rest of them. Being one of the higher weights, you would expect it to be a bit closer as they come down to the sixth. And there's a fall of there, Madame Maylin's gone. So Madame Maylin is out. And they get to the fence, it'll be the last next time round. And also down on his nose there was Die Another Day. So Patrick Hogan nearly lost both of his in a space of two fences. New Year's Day has now caught them up. I don't know, they've just been given a bit of a breather. They didn't seem to be going that quickly. There's three in a line disputing the leaders and race away from the stands then. There's Bijou Zinger, Buffalo Commercial and between the two of them stitching time. Gap of a length or so then to Need a Tonic and Titch Jazz. And then the Grey Presk Flay Police Run is next and then Drum Largan on the outside of that one. Who made a mistake there, Drum Largan. And was passed by Die Another Day. Roller Six has just been relegated to last. As they head towards the water, and Bijou Zinger skips over that in front. Leading by a couple to Stitching Time and Buffalo Commercial. And Titch Jazz need a tonic as they get this ditch. Over oh, that they go, New Year's Day dropping off the pace again. It really appears to be on a going day today as they get to the 11th. And another mistake by Die Another Day. So the Horses with Day in their name. No, not to be doing that one. And the horse who had Bay in his name has already fallen, so. This next ditch, which they all get over, including New Year's Day at the back. The Buffalo Commercial has now gone on into the lead. From Bijou Zinger and Stitching Time as they get to the next. And Titch Jazz, there's New Year's Day jumping it slowly again at the back. Buffalo Commercial leading by half a length to Bijou Zinger in second. Stitching time is still just third, then Titch Jazz. Need a tonic is after that one. Drum Largan next, then Presk Flay. And then Roller Six and Die Another Day. I think we can forget about New Year's Day. That one's out of it as they come down towards the third last. And Bijou Zinger, New Year's Day has indeed been pulled up. Buffalo Commercial landed in the lead from Bijou Zinger in second. Then comes Nita Tonic. Drum Largan has switched to the inside. Titch Jazz is still there as well. Presk Flay is coming around the outside. Plenty of chances as they head towards the straight. They've got two to take in the straight. And Buffalo Commercial has kicked on for Vinnie Gerard who had two 
Winners on the card yesterday, looking to get on the board again today with Roller Six now into second, then Press Flan need a tonic. Drumlogan is next over to second last, and Buffalo Commercial is now five or six length clear. And these horses that came in mid season, they don't get to go up the handicaps so quickly as the rest of them do, they? and they've got over that one clear in the lead. And Buffalo Commercial is well clear of Press Flan and Police Run at the moment as they race into the final half. Furlong is beginning to ease him down just a little bit too quickly, I think. Well, I think he's going to hold on as they head for the line it's Buffalo Commercial who hangs on to take it from Police Run in second then Presque Filet Dyer of the Day, Roller Six Drum Lagen and all the way back to B. Zhu Zinga and you just get a feeling that with a few more runs under his belt Buffalo Commercial would have been weighted out of this and that's to go in the Ryanair and he's taken it, Buffalo Commercial wins it from Police Run second for Leon van Rensburg Presque Flay third for David Robertson, Dino of the Day, Padraig Hogan fourth, and Roller six for Craig Beckwith was fifth. <laughs>